How often have you wished for a better version of yourself? It's a question we've all asked ourselves at some point. We yearn to be more productive, more confident, more creative. Simply put, a better version of who we currently are. This is where the concept of self-cultivation comes into play. Self-cultivation, at its core, is the commitment to personal growth and continuous self-improvement. It's about honing your skills, nurturing your passions and constantly striving to enhance your life. It's about realizing that you are your own masterpiece, always a work in progress. In a world that's constantly changing, the importance of self-improvement cannot be understated. It keeps us adaptable, resilient and ready for whatever life throws our way. It's an empowering journey of self-discovery and personal evolution that helps us unlock our full potential and live more fulfilling lives. Embark on this journey of self-cultivation and you'll discover a new you. Self-cultivation might sound like a complex term, but it isn't. At its core, self-cultivation is a philosophy, a journey of personal growth and continuous learning. It's about nurturing our inner self, polishing our thoughts, attitudes and behaviors to improve our overall well-being. But what does it mean to cultivate oneself? Think of yourself as a garden. Just as a garden needs constant care, attention and nourishment to thrive, so does our inner self. Self-cultivation is the process of tending to our mental, emotional and spiritual garden. It's about enriching our mind with knowledge, nourishing our heart with love and kindness, and nurturing our soul with wisdom and tranquility. Now you might be wondering how does self-cultivation affect our life? Well imagine living a life where every decision you make, every action you take is deeply rooted in self-awareness and conscious thought. A life where you're not just reacting to the world around you, but actively shaping your own reality. That's the power of self-cultivation. Moreover, self-cultivation plays a crucial role in personal growth and success. It encourages us to step out of our comfort zone, to challenge our preconceived notions, and to question the status quo. It pushes us to strive for excellence, not for the sake of impressing others, but for our own personal satisfaction and fulfillment. And yes, self-cultivation does require effort. It's not something that happens overnight. It's a lifelong commitment to self-improvement. It's about making conscious choices every single day that align with our values and aspirations. But the rewards, they're immeasurable. With self-cultivation, we become more resilient, more adaptable, more self-reliant. We become better problem solvers, better decision makers. We become the masters of our own destiny. So don't be intimidated by the term self-cultivation. Embrace it, practice it, and watch how it transforms your life. Remember, you are the gardener of your own soul. And with the right care and attention, you can cultivate a life of purpose, happiness, and fulfillment. In essence, self-cultivation is the key to unlocking your potential. Self-cultivation is a journey. And like every journey, it begins with a single step. Step one on this journey is self-awareness. It's about taking an honest look at who you are, understanding your strengths, acknowledging your weaknesses, and recognizing your values. It's about finding out what makes you tick, what makes you happy, and what makes you feel fulfilled. It's about asking yourself the hard questions and being willing to listen to the answers. Self-awareness is the foundation upon which all other steps towards self-cultivation are built. Next, we move on to goal setting. Having a clear vision of where you want to go is crucial. Picture your ideal self. Who do you want to be? What do you want to achieve? These are the goals that will guide your journey. Make them smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Remember, these goals are not set in stone. They can and should evolve as you grow and learn more about yourself. Once you've set your goals, it's time to acquire the skills necessary to achieve them. Learning is a lifelong journey, and it's never too late to pick up a new skill. Whether it's learning a new language, mastering a musical instrument, or understanding the complexities of quantum physics, Every new skill you acquire brings you one step closer to becoming your ideal self. But learning new skills isn't enough. You must also be willing to embrace change. Change can be scary, but it's an essential part of self-cultivation. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone, challenging your preconceived notions, and opening yourself up to new experiences. Remember, growth doesn't happen in comfort zones. The final step is continuous improvement. Self-cultivation is not a destination, but a journey. 
It's about striving to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. It's about recognizing that there's always room for improvement, that there's always something new to learn, and that there's always a better version of yourself waiting to be discovered. In essence, self-cultivation is about becoming the best version of yourself. It's about recognizing your potential and working tirelessly to realize it. It's about not settling for good enough, but striving for greatness. It's about not just living life, but mastering it. But remember, self-cultivation is not a race. It's not about who gets there first or who gets there fastest. It's about staying true to yourself, staying committed to your journey and enjoying the process. In conclusion, self-cultivation is a journey that starts with self-awareness, proceeds with goal setting and skill acquisition, necessitates a willingness to embrace change and culminates in continuous improvement. It's a journey that never truly ends, as there's always a new horizon to explore, a new mountain to climb, and a new version of yourself to discover. Every step you take towards self-cultivation brings you closer to the best version of yourself. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Just as it took time, effort, and sheer determination to build the grandeur that was Rome, it takes the same tenacity to build ourselves. The road to self-cultivation is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It is a journey that demands persistence, for it is in the constant and consistent effort where real progress is made. Imagine planting a seed. If you water it once and leave it, nothing will grow. But if you water it consistently, provide it with sunlight and nurture it, it will bloom into a beautiful plant. Similarly, our self-growth requires consistent nurturing. It is the daily habits, the small changes, the continual learning, and the steady pursuit of our goals that lead us to become our best selves. Remember, consistency is key. It's not about making a massive change in a day, but about making small improvements every day that lead to significant results over time. It's about showing up for yourself day in and day out, even when it's challenging, even when you don't feel like it. That's what builds character. That's what leads to growth. Dedication too plays a vital role. It's about being committed to the journey and understanding that there will be bumps along the way. It's about being dedicated to the process and not just the outcome. It's about knowing that even if progress is slow, you're still lapping everyone sitting on the couch. Self-cultivation is a journey of a thousand miles and it begins with a single step, but it doesn't end there. Each step after that is just as important and it's the persistence to take those steps one day at a time that makes all the difference. The road to self-cultivation is not always easy. It requires patience, resilience, and an unwavering belief in yourself. But remember, the oak tree doesn't grow overnight. It withstands storms and endures seasons and in the end stands tall and strong. Persistence is your best friend on this journey of self-cultivation. So what does self-cultivation look like in a nutshell? In the grand tapestry of life, self-cultivation is the thread that weaves together our personal growth, purpose, and fulfillment. It's the ongoing process of honing our skills, nurturing our passions, and striving towards our potential. But remember, it's not an overnight transformation. Rather, it's a lifelong journey of continuous improvement and self-discovery. We've delved into the concept of self-cultivation, understanding that it's about cultivating not just our minds, but also our bodies and spirits. It's about embracing who we are, while also pushing our boundaries to become the best versions of ourselves. We've looked at the steps to self-cultivation, starting with self-awareness. By understanding our strengths, weaknesses, values, and passions, we can set meaningful goals that align with who we truly are. The next step is self-improvement, where we actively work towards our goals, constantly learning and growing along the way. And finally, self-reflection, where we evaluate our progress, learn from our experiences, and make necessary adjustments to our path. But of course, none of this would be possible without persistence. The road to self-cultivation is often challenging and full of obstacles, but it's through these challenges that we grow the most. Persistence is what keeps us moving forward, even when the going gets tough. It's what helps us turn failures into lessons and dreams into realities. In essence, self-cultivation is about living intentionally. It's about making conscious choices that align with our values and goals, rather than being swept away by the currents of life. It's about striving for excellence, not perfection. It's about embracing our uniqueness and using it to make a positive impact on the world. So as we wrap up, 
Remember that self-cultivation isn't a destination, but a journey. It's a personal adventure of growth, discovery and fulfillment. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves, not for the sake of impressing others, but for the joy of living a life that truly resonates with who we are. Self-cultivation is a journey of discovering the best within you. So, are you ready to embark on this journey?